Welcome to week four of four of my mini video series on the psychology of change. I'm so happy you came back. Needless to say, um, the term goal setting is getting a little old this time of year. You hear it all the time everywhere you look. It's like goals, 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 goals. So I apologize in advance if it's a bit overused right now. But what I want to do is bring you a fresh and clear perspective on the purpose of goals and how they actually work. So I'll be breaking down some of the research in the area of psychology on goals and goal setting and the effectiveness of goals. So here we go. First, we're going to cover the purpose of goals. So goals simply provide you with direction to an outcome that you desire, but that you haven't realized yet. It is your map, plain and simple. When you have a map, you know where to go. You can focus your attention. You can focus your effort and your action in that direction. So that's a good thing. Secondly, goals offer the opportunity for satisfaction, increased confidence, and increased overall well-being. The cool thing about meeting a goal in one area is that that confidence can um, go across contexts. So for example, you might have successfully read 10 pages a day for the last 10 days, and all of a sudden you also believe you can uh, conquer a small change that you'd like to make at work. So that's a good thing. And lastly, um, just as following a map, every turn gets you a little bit closer to your destination, goals build over time. There's not like some raft you can hop in that is going to just allow you to drift into excellence, right? So making goals will build over time. It just means that you're always growing. All right, hopefully I've convinced you that goals are an okay thing. You don't feel like throwing up a little bit um, every time you hear that word mentioned now. Now let's talk about how they actually work. So this research goes back to 1968, Edwin Locke, it's called a goal setting theory. It's actually an open theory, which means that lots of researchers um, continue to add to this theory as we learn more. So for example, we know a lot more about how the brain works now as technology advances and we can look at that more closely. But these things hold true uh, back then and they still do today and they've held true over time. So that's what I want you to know about them. And um, also like all these acronyms that we know about setting goals like SMART, SMARTER, HARD, ABC, they all were kind of born out of this theory in order just to make it usable for the normal person um, like you or me. So here's the gist. When you're making goals, and I hope that you do, goals can be all your own. They can be super unique. They don't have to look like anyone else's goals, right? Um, they're more effective when these conditions are met. Number one, that they're clear. So you can tell anyone about it and they'll know exactly what you mean by that goal. Number two, um, they're challenging. So the research tells us that if our goal is not challenging enough, we won't be motivated to meet it. And when we crush that goal, it's not gonna mean much. We're not gonna get much satisfaction out of it because it was just simply too easy. Number three, commitment. So tying, kind of like we talked about last week, tying the purpose of meeting this goal to something more important, a core value, or something that uh, matters to like who you believe you are. And then lastly, that it is not complex. You're not making a big deal out of it. It's kind of like a yes or no thing. Did you do it? Yes or no. When we make goals too complex, we tend not to have the bandwidth to make that change every day, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna break down your goals, uh, larger goals into smaller goals so that they're simple, low complex goals are more likely to be met in your average day because you have a little bit of bandwidth to make change, but not unlimited bandwidth. I have a question if you're pondering writing up some goals and you're wondering how to twink them a little bit, just shoot me a message. I'd be happy to help.